The mangrove is a habitat that I think some of you will have the opportunity to paddle through, to kayak through later on in this trip. Mangrove is super important. It's really an incredible place. And I think oftentimes it's overlooked. It doesn't have the clear, sandy, beautiful bottom like the coral reef does, but it's exceptionally important. So what you see on the right-hand side is the main tree of a mangrove. It's a red mangrove. It's adapted to live in salt water. Most vascular plants, you know, you put a corn stalk or you put a rose bush or something else in salt water, it'll kill it very, very quickly. But these trees are adapted to life in salt water. And are important to the reef because they form what's called a depositional environment. Moving water has the ability to carry things like dirt and sediment. And when that moving water slows down, the water loses its ability to hold those particles in suspension and they drop out. If you've ever panned for gold, you know this. You want to look for the gold in that bend of the river where the water slows down because that's where the gold drops out. When you have a big rainstorm on land, and that muddy water from the shore is running out toward the reef, it goes through those mangrove roots, and the water slows down. And when it slows down, the mud and the silt and the sediment drops out. So it forms this really sort of gross, muddy, soft, oozy bottom, which is very different from what you see at the reefs, but it's protecting that reef by keeping that mud, silt, sediment in the mangrove. Now, underneath the surface is an incredible profusion of life. Those mangrove tree roots form a solid substrate where many organisms can attach and live. You'll find all sorts of mollusks and barnacles and sea squirts and sponges. Uh, here you see a whole bunch of little silver side fish swimming through there. <clears throat> this is tied to the reef in other ways. Many of the big fish that you see on the reef spend their juvenile time in the mangrove. Out on the reef, you'll see a five-foot barracuda. Here in the mangrove, you see a three-inch barracuda that's chasing these little silver sides. Up in the top, that yellow stuff floating, that's some sargassum that has floated in there. So now you can see what that looks like um, as it's drifted into this mangrove. 